God bless Biafra. God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. God bless Mazendam Bikano. And God bless Mazuchi before. God bless all Biafrans in Biafra land and in diaspora. And all those who are working tirelessly to see that Biafra restoration is a reality. God bless those who are listening to me today, those who are going to join later. God bless every Biafran who have worked tirelessly that Biafra might be restored. Uh, like it's traditional, you'll be hearing noise at the background. It's just children who are playing football. And uh, in Biafra democracy, we believe in Ebwe Bere Ugo Bere KCBA Bekule Choir. So we believe in democracy, we believe uh, in allowing people freedom to do as they please. Today, before we start the proceeding today, I will have to hand over this proceeding to the hand of God, my God, who has guided me since the beginning, since the day I started this broadcast. God, I thank you, I exalt your name, I glorify your name for the power you've given to me to be broadcasting since I started this broadcasting since July. You've not allowed me to be put to shame. You've not allowed my enemies to triumph over me. You've given me the grace and the ability and the power to be able to stand and speak that which you benefit the Biafrans. God, I say, guide me in today's broadcast. Be with me so that I will speak as you've directed me. Help me and bless me and bless all those who are listening. This I pray. Say, say, say. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Today, I want to talk about Cultism. I want this is my message to those who, to the cultists. <clears throat> it is out of necessity that I decided to do this video, not because uh, I just want to talk to them, but because it is necessary that I speak to them. Uh, today, I want to focus on those who, who are practicing school confraternity especially those who are in school and those who are in the streets and those who have left the school but they are still practicing this courtism. Uh, I cannot speak about courtism without giving you a brief introduction of, on how the whole meanings of courtism began. This issue of courtism is older than me and most of you watching me here. Courtism be began in Nigeria before the independence. It was something that was that started in the fifties, began in the fifties by some presently professors now, professors like uh, Wolesho Inka um, and the rest of them. I don't want to, I don't want to call other names, but Wolesho Inka is one of the popular names. Uh, ben Oku, good to see, and, and some other ones again. They began this courtism at the University of Ibadan. They began a, a court group called Pirate Confraternity. And uh, gradually, in the 70s, uh, there was this crisis about leadership. And... Uh, one of them pulled out and formed the Buccaneers, Buccaneers Confraternity. And uh, after Buccaneer was formed, the National Association of the Sea Dogs was formed in the 70s. 
aka Bukania. In the 80s, other fraternities now, during the IBB regime, other cult groups now came out. Group like the National Association of the Adventurers, aka Vikings. Group like uh, the New Black Movement of Africa, aka Blackers. Group like uh, the National Association of the Air Lords, aka Air of Fraternity. Groups like, uh, in fact, many of them came out from that period. And then gradually, in other time, other, uh, during the late 80s and 90s, other groups also came. So, as it stands now in, 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 in this zoo, because I want to use that word zoo, uh, confraternity uh, has been there since the 50s. And now we have close to 60 confraternities that exist now. So, and it has spread. You know, so the people I'm addressing now are people who are currently within the age of 80 to 10 years old. Yes, I know why I use that word, 10 years old, because confraternity, when it began, it began in, at the university. Gradually, it left the university and went to the streets. Uh, uh, from the streets, it now went to secondary school. And from secondary school, it's now in some primary schools now. So... Yeah, because uh, the issue of catching them when they were young, when they are young, now came into the system. So people are now recruited even when they are in primary school, which is more or less an ugly incident now in the society. Now, these court groups don't just end there. You know, during that Ab uh, Abacha regime, there were a series of events that led to the breakaway of those uh, uh, court groups, you know, that came out during uh, Bobangida regime. Sorry, so those court groups that came out during Bobangida's regime came as a result of internal fracas, internal quarrels, internal uh, uh, problems within all those uh, within the either the pirates or the buccaneers. So those those quarrels now re resulted to war on campus during the uh, late 80s and early 90s. The early 90s was when the war on campus became very, very real and very, very strong. There was so much wars on the campuses, uh, you know, the war to claim the ownership of campus and blah and blah and blah. So all those wars is still existing to now because uh, there are there are up to now there are court wars going on in various universities universities like it's any good state university of science and technology which which they, they nicknamed a war college because of uh, the large number of court groups there and uh, the powers that they possess you know in terms of uh, when there is war between this group A and group B, uh, the casualties on both sides. So this war has persisted and is going on, and it is in a large way affecting the society. And uh, I choose to speak about these cult groups today. Like I told you, there are close to 60-something groups, cult groups. I was, let me see if I can mention, let me mention the ones that are very popular. Uh, you have the uh, National Association of the uh, Sea Dogs, that is uh, the Pirate Confraternity, uh, Confraternity. You have the National Association of the Sea Lords, that is the Buccaneer Confraternity. You have the National Association of the Adventurers, that is the Vikings Confraternity. You have the New Black Movement of Africa, that is the Black Ass. You have the National Association of the Air Lords, that is Air Year Confraternity. You have uh, the Brothers of, the, of, of Nua, that is uh, Black Berets, or they call them Tutu. You have Mamba Brothers. You have uh, 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 Burkina Faso. You have uh, um, 
and uh, the, uh, the, there's this one they call class confraternity or KK, internal fraternal order of the Legion Consortium or KK, that is class confraternity. Uh, then you have uh, you have the Mafite, you have the the family that's Maf Maf. And there are so many court groups. You have the Second Sons of Satan. You have, there are many of the Trojan Halls. There are many confraternities, and many have been created as I'm talking to you now. So this, these fraternities are all over the universities in, 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 in the zoo and also in Biafra land. So, and their duty is to, is to the, the reason why it was created has been defeated because the reason why it, Fraternity was created was to fight the white colonial masters, to fight the imperialists. But now the idea has been defeated. It is now being used to fight ourselves. And uh, it is also a hindrance and also an obstacle in Biafra land. So I have to speak about it. Now, in the streets, uh, at the time in Portacourt, uh, the Antana Fraternal Order of the Legion Consortium decided to leave University of Portacourt and then blend people in the streets, you know, so that uh, they will use them, you know, for extortion of money and use them to fight the, the you know, in Portacourt, it's always, it's always a battle between the KK and the Vikings. So they now came and they now formed a group in the streets. They now named them um, uh, Debam, you know. So Debam started existing. There are some Vikings who, when they come back home, nobody knows that they are frat men. So they were using those Deban boys to intimidate them, to fight them. And those boys don't want their parents to know that they are into secret courts. So they dad decided to, to go and form their own Dewell. They now form their own Dewell, which is also uh, part of uh, the Vikings' confraternity. Then gradually, it now, uh, it now, you know, there was this, uh, it now, they, they gained their independence. At a time there was an, an independence, the Deban boys were no longer loyal to the KKK. Uh, the, they were, were no longer loyal to the Vikings. There was this independence and, and, some, and some people now hijacked it. From uh, Deban, Deban still retained their name. Then later, uh, they were metamorphosed to Iceland. And then from Iceland, you all know the, the story. From Iceland, militancy and the rest of them. So fraternity has been there for a long time. I'm just trying to lay a foundation on how, on what this fraternity is all about. And uh, when you come down to the east, I, I, I'm talking about uh, River State, you go to Chapotacot. Now when you come down to the east, you will still see Iceland in the streets. You see junior IAs, junior Vikings, junior this, junior that. These are the ones you see at the secondary school level. Uh, in some cases now, in primary school level. So this fraternity has been existing. It's there, you know. Uh, because today I want to talk about uh, campus courtism. Uh, that, is, that is where I want to talk about today. So these boys, these boys are able-bodied men, boys. Who, who dedicate their time and their energy in, uh, in fraternity, in courtism. So now, due to uh, 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 this uh, dragon of streets, who is stronger, who owns the streets, who will the politicians use, who will be the chief security, then, the, then this court war began. From the university, this court war, the court war began, and uh, since this court war began, it's always no victor, no vanquish, because uh, today you hear court A killed 20 people in court B, and uh, the court A will be, will be rejoicing, the court B, you won't see them again. After a year, the court B will appear from nowhere, and then kill all, all 25 people again, and then the war will continue, that side will be going on, and people will be gossiping, some will be supporting court A, some will be supporting court B, and the war will be going on and on and on and on and on. It has been there since the late 80s till now. Till now. 
uh, in Iguacha, it's metamorphosed to militancy. Uh, Iceland metamorphosed to militancy, and uh, uh, in uh, in in the southeast here, some of them decided to become armed robbers, and the rest of them. So you can see how this confraternity whole thing is. Uh, I am not speaking like an outsider. I'm speaking like one who has been a member of one of the confraternities. You know, so that's why I can speak about it. So that uh, uh, other ones too, who are because uh, in this fraternity, you see men who are my age or older than me who have been in this game. So we 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 did it. I wouldn't mention the court group that I belong to, uh, I because uh, it's believed those days that uh, you start as a school court courtist. Then when you want to graduate, you now become a militant. So I started as a school fraternity. From there, I became a militant, and uh, I have seen it all. I've seen it all. No one will tell me about campus confraternity. No one will tell me about anything about fraternity. I've seen everything. I've uh, I've been there. So and I've seen the danger involved in it. So today broadcast, the essence of today's broadcast is to call all the court groups to unite. Uh, the reason why we, because right now, as it stands now, we don't have a choice. The reason why I'm calling all the court groups, all the court groups, both the ones in the university, the ones in the streets, to unite is because if we don't do so, we will all die. The reason, let me repeat myself again. The reason why I am calling all the court groups to unite and to jettison all the wars, to stop all the wars, all the confraternity wars that is going on now, even as I'm speaking to you now, there are court wars going on in Enugu State, going on in Imo State, going on across Biafra land, especially between the Vikings and the Blackers, the Tutu, the Buccaneers, and there are court wars, one, one place or the other, a court group is fighting. So I want to let them understand that if they don't stop this war now, we will all die. The Fulani headsmen, which, which, it's, which is somewhere waiting to consume them, will destroy every one of them. Uh, I, there's something I want you to know. A state like Enugu State is known to, to, have, to have the largest number of court groups. When I mean court groups, when Enugu State begin their court war, I don't think there's any university in this whole of Biafra land that has a very rugged and very fierce battleground like Enugu State. Yet the Fulani headsmen are, have conquered the whole Enugu State because uh, the Fulani headsmen have conquered some villages, uh, some bushes in Enugu State just because no one can bring those court groups together and then let them have a common enemy and fight a common war. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. That is the reason why I decided to speak, first of all, to all the court groups, all the university court groups and all the street court groups in Biafra land, that if you don't stop this war and unite, you will all perish. You will all die and you'll be buried and forgotten and your lands will be taken over by the Fulanis and your wives and your mothers will be raped and your, and your fathers will be slaughtered. You will gain nothing if this war does not come to an end. As it stands now, we have a big enemy facing us, a big enemy threatening to devour Biafra land. If we do not stop this war now, we will all perish. I want this issue of confraternity. I don't, I don't understand it. I'm trying to expose confraternity. I am not here to expose confraternity, but I'm here to unite all the confraternities under one umbrella so that we can fight our common enemies. So that we can fight our common enemies. So I am urging you all, I'm urging you all as you're listening to me, please, please understand from the angle that I'm coming from. The essence of this video is so that every confraternity in Biafra land will shift their sword. So that every confraternity in Biafra land will shift their sword. You understand? So that uh, 
so that every fraternity in Biafra land will shed their sword, so that uh, we will now organize Biafra and do it the way it is supposed to be. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Um, like I was saying, there is a war going on in Biafra land in terms of confraternity wars. And this war is killing our youths. Many of our able men that, are, that, that, will be, that should have been a soldier of Biafra Special Military Squad have been slaughtered as a result of this court war. And the court war, no one has ever won this court war. Believe me, no one has ever won this court war. It is today where the court A is winning, tomorrow court B is winning, the next day court B is no longer winning, court A is winning, That's just like that. It should just be going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. But now enough is enough. Biafra Special Military, as the leader of Biafra Special Military Squad, I am more, I am calling for ceasefire in all the, the universities, in all the states in Biafra land. That is why Biafra Special Military Squad, I decided to introduce oath taking. Because as, as we take oaths, you will not be afraid of anybody. You will not be afraid that this Mr. A is in Mr. A is in court A and you are in court B. You are no longer afraid of anything. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. This issue of courtism have destroyed Biafra land. Uh, last year at Ohaji Ebuma, you, you, if, you, if you are following online, you will see what happened at Ohaji Ebuma. What were they dragging? They were dragging who is going to be the CSO of the land. Now, the, the, the oil company, the oil company that came to Biafra land, that wanted to, because they wanted to build a, 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 a gas, a, a natural liquefied gas company in Ohaji Boma, so it became a problem between the Iceland and the Deba. I know a lot of boys, a lot of able-bodied boys that died during the war. Uh, and I remember when I called the, the two parties, I remember speaking to members of the two parties at Coca-Cola bus stop. I spoke to two me the, the members of the two parties, not their leadership, but uh, some of their members. I told them, uh, you are all dragging for the CSO, forgetting that uh, uh, when the oil company comes, they are, they, they are going to be, they, they will be requesting, they will be needing medicines, they will be needing uh, welders, they will be needing suppliers of different materials, there are, they will be needing electricians, they will be, they will be needing technicians, civil engineers, electrical engineers. There are several departments, and we, from the day the work starts till the day we all become grandfathers and die, the, there will be employment and upon employment upon employment in that place. Because the map of what they're trying to do, the budget, the, 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 the small budget that uh, Dangote and the rest of them are trying to do is one point something billion dollars. So that's a whole lot of money. So why fighting for CSO? Why don't you uh, relax and then uh, 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 there are many departments you can fill in. So I spoke to some of them, but the war still continued. But today I'm using this medium because Facebook Live, it's, it's, I'm, I'm speaking to a lot of people uh, in, in, through this channel. All I'm saying is that the hour for us to stop the confraternity, war, for confraternity's uh, uh, wars is now. Because if we do not stop the war now, we will regret it and we will be destroyed by the Fulani headsmen. By the Fulani headsmen. Uh, God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Uh, my friend Ras Ayal Talmo, you are a Jew, you are, you are an Israeli. Uh, the Fulani tribe are not Hebrew. The tribes that are Hebrew are Igbos. The Fulanis are Arabs. They are they are just like the Palestinians. They are to, what they are to us what the Palestinians are to the Israelis, or what the Iraqis are to the Israelis, or what the Iranians are to the Israelis. That is what the Fulanis are to our people. Uh, the Fulanis are, are, are Arabs. They are the ones, if you go to, uh, I advise you to go to Gogo, you will see that the Fulani headsmen are the fourth deadliest terrorist group uh, in the world. 
I advise you to check the Fulani headsmen. They are they are the fourth deadliest terrorist group in the world. So back to what I was saying. I am using this opportunity to call for a ceasefire among all the confraternities in Biafra land. All the court groups, whether you are a Vikings, whether you are a Blackers, whether you are a Tutu, whether you are an Aya, uh, we don't have much of the Aya in Biafra land because the Aya confraternity is a, it's a Yoruba confraternity. Though we have them, but they are not uh, in large in Biafra land. The way where you see them mostly is uh, in Yoruba land and uh, I think in Edo states, in, in the universities in Edo states. But here in Biafra land, we don't have much of them. So whether you're a Tutu, you're a Blackers, you're a Vikings, you're a Bukaniya, you are, you, are, you are a Burkina Faso, you are uh, whatsoever fraternity that you are, a Mafite, a Maf, I urge you now to do ceasefire. It is not, I'm not begging you, I'm ordering you for a ceasefire. Because if we do not do that ceasefire, that will be the end of us. We need to stop the fighting. We need to unite and fight our common enemies. Our common enemies are the Fulani headsmen. Our common enemies are the Fulani headsmen. Our common enemies are Boko Haram. Our common enemies are ISIS. So we need to stop the fraternity wars in the universities. We need to stop the confraternity wars in our secondary schools. We need to stop the confraternity wars in our streets and face our common enemies, which are the Fulani headsmen. Because if we do not stop this war and face the Fulani headsmen, we will all be destroyed. The Fulanis will destroy us. They will kill us. By the time we've lost our able men that will carry on this fight, that will help in this fight against the Fulani headsmen, by the time we have killed all of them, finish, the Fulanis will descend into our villages, into our towns, into our cities, and slaughter our people, rape our women, and then enslave our sisters. And that is something no fraternity man will want to see. No frat man will want to see his mother being raped. No confraternity man will want to see his sister being raped. No confraternity man will want to see his sister being enslaved. So the only way to avoid your, your father being killed or your mother being raped or your sister being raped and enslaved by the Fulani headsmen is for you to shield your sword. It's for you to stop the war of this, this, this mindless and senseless confraternity wars. This confraternity wars must stop. Everybody, everybody in Biafra land have witnessed one or two confraternity wars. There are so many wars, there are, there are many wars that has happened in, 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 in Biafra land and those wars must stop. We must, come, we must put it to an end. It must end and it must end now. We do not have a choice. We do not, I'm, not, I'm not here. I'm here to appeal to you to stop the war. You must stop the war. The war, the war must stop. This war, this, frater, this confraternity war must stop. It must stop and it must stop now. We do not have, a, we do not have time to entertain anything confraternity wars again because this wars must stop and it must stop right now. The war is not for our benefit. A lot of young undergraduates have been killed. A lot of people, a lot of bright students, a lot of bright guys, a lot of guys that by now should have been soldiers of Biafra Special Military Squad have been slaughtered as a result of confraternity wars. So it must stop and it must stop now. The reason why I believe it's going to stop is, the, my, is my experiences, my experiences in Port Harcourt. I've shared that experience here before. I witnessed something that is almost impossible in my life. I saw two parallel lines meeting. And what did I mean? Or what am I trying to say? At the peak of confraternity wars or, 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 or courtism wars, in River State, when it, it, because the peak of confraternity is when you become a militant. There was a time, there was a crisis between Asari, uh, between uh, Ateketom and Suboma George. They became worst enemies that they were hunting for each other. But when, during Omeya regime, when Omeya was the governor of River State before Chibika Amechi now took over as the governor, there was a war between Ateketom and Suboma George. 
when the war was going on, the army came into the war, they killed a lot of people at, from Soboma's side and killed a lot of people from, uh, from Atiketom's side. So they both have lost soldiers and they had no choice than to unite and form a common front and fight their common enemy. That was the only way they stayed alive. That was the only way uh, Yeradua's administration had to call for amnesty. When they now saw that uh, Asar, uh, Atike Tom and, uh, and Soboma George, who were enemies, who were killing each other, are now united and they are fighting a common cause, they were forced to call for amnesty. Because they fear the union of Atike Tom and Soboma George, though they were enemies, but they fear this union. And, one, and when the union happened, Yeradua had no choice than to call for amnesty. And, and uh, amnesty was called, and uh, you all know the story. Now, the Fulani headsmen will be very, very scared. The fourth largest uh, uh, terrorist group, the Fulani headsmen, and Boko Haram and ISIS, they will be very, very scared when they discover that all the court groups in Biafra land have been united under BSMS. Because why I say united under BSMS? Because BSMS is guaranteeing you a forum where you will come and be a member with another court member being a member without you thinking of killing him or him thinking of killing you. Because the moment you take our oath in BSMS, if you dare to kill a member of BSMS because of, uh, of any reason, you will not last for one week. BSMS oath is a deity oath, a, an oath before a deity, a powerful deity, a powerful, a powerful conjuration, a powerful, a powerful spirit that the moment you take the oath and you go against the oath, you face the penalty instantly. You, ha you only have like a week to live. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. My joy today is that Biafra Special Military Squad has given us a forum whereby we all can come together from different confraternities, whether you are Vikings, whether you are Blackers, whether you are in Iceland, whether you are Debam, whether you are Bukania, whether you are Tutu, whether you are any fraternity you are, you are whether you are you, you are a Greenlander, any fraternity you are, you have the opportunity in Biafra Special Military Squad to come together under one umbrella and fight a common enemy. Our common enemy is the Fulani headsman. Our common enemy is the Fulani Empire. Our common enemy is Boko Haram. Our common enemy is ISIS. Our common enemy are the Islamists who have decided to kill our fathers, who have decided to kill our mothers, who have decided to rape our mothers and sisters and enslave us. We will never ever allow, that, allow it to happen. That is why I'm calling everybody to unite together in Biafra Special Military Squad under an oath to fight this deadly this, this, this infidels these imbeciles these uncircumcised Philistines who have come to devour our land who have come to devour our land, we, we must unite. It's not a matter of we should unite. It's not a matter that we, we, should, we, 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 must, uh, we, we can unite. It is a matter that we must unite. We must unite and fight against our common enemy. <coughs> Excuse me. We must unite and fight our common enemies. Our common enemies, like I've said before, is the Fulani headsmen, is ISIS, is Boko Haram. We must unite and fight our common enemies. We do not have a choice. We do not have a choice. The only choice we have now is for us to come together and fight our common enemies. So if you're a member of Iceland, if you're a member of Debam, if you're a member of Greenlander, if you're a Vikings, you're a Black Ass, you're a Tutu, you're a Burkina Faso, you, you, you belong to any confraternity, you must shoot your sword, you must stop the court war and unite under BSMS and fight our common enemies. Because if we do not do so, we will all die. If we do not do so, we will all die. We will be slaughtered by the Fulani headsmen. Before you know it, you will, you will kill all the people that, we should, that you, we should recruit and fight against the Fulanis. No one has ever won any court war. I, am, I, am, I, I have experience. I'm not saying it from an outsider perspective. I'm saying it because I've witnessed all the court wars that happened. 
I've, I, I, started, I started witnessing court wars right from the days of the king of the Baptist. If you're in Port Harcourt, you should know about a guy called King Go. If you don't know about King of the Baptist, then you still be a small boy. King of the Baptist came even before I take it home and Subo Major, even I started to cook with them. King of the Baptist started existing. Baptist High School in Port Harcourt. So I, I, I know how, even in Enugu, the time of uh, uh, Wadole Dor, Kenkewa, uh, fucking Ayaya. Plenty of them. You should, if all these names that I'm mentioning to you if, you, if you know about these names, then you are an old man in this game. If you know about this, all these names that I'm calling, you should know I am not just joking. I am calling names of people. Some of them are even late. Wadole Dor, fucking Ayaya in Enugu State. And uh, there, are, there, are so many, there, are, there are so many of them. So we don't have a choice right now. We must come together. We must come together. We must come together and unite and fight against the Fulani headsmen. Many of them, imagine if fucking Ayaya, Eke Wafia, Wadolido, I don't know if fucking Ayaya is still alive. Many of them, if all those men were alive now, and we're talking about BSMS, they will be the first to come and re register because already they have the heart, but they have been killed. They have been killed. Many of them have been killed. And many of them are late. You understand? These are men who, if, if I channel their energy towards the full and headsmen, they will, they, will, they will deal with the full and headsmen decisively. They will kill the, they will, they will kill the full and headsmen decisively. BSMS, we are not interested in any court group that you belong to. We don't care the court group you belong to. Here it is Biafra or nothing. Here we don't care about your court group. We don't care about uh, the group you belong to. What we care about is Biafra. What we care about in the morning is Biafra. What we care about in the afternoon is Biafra. What we care about in the evening is Biafra. What we think is Biafra. What we think is Biafra in the morning. What we think is Biafra in the afternoon. What we think is Biafra in the evening. From, from what I am seeing... But from what I've seen, some, some people know all these names that I've called. All the names that I've called now, most people are testifying. Because I've seen, I've seen, I've seen their, 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 type, their, their comments showing that they know most of the names that I'm, call, uh, that I'm calling. If you know all this, you know I'm saying the truth. You know that many, many people don't die. Guy, many don't die. Plenty don't die. Listen, there's, there's a saying, there's a saying, if you, if you are joining confraternity, they will tell you that confraternity is the name. Survivor is the game. Now, the question is, can you survive? Because it's not child's play. You see students who are bright, they can no longer go to classes, they can no longer read their books because of confraternity. I know of a friend who jumped from two-story building when they came for him. He has no choice. He has to jump down. If you don't jump down, they will kill you. So you better make you jump down. If you survive, you run. So confraternity is the name, and, but survival is the game. Now the question is, can you survive? Can you survive? A lot of people cannot go back. In Enugu State, those who did either Vikings or Black House, some of them cannot just go back to Enugu State now. Because once you go back to Enugu State, you, you will see some boys who are just 18 years old, who are fighting, they, are, they will say, ah, see one old man. Oh boy, if you knock this guy now, they are frat men, you go pain the way away, don't kill their old man. And they will come after you. And they will come after you. And they will come after you. The next thing, blah, blah, you, you will just be with your, maybe with your family, or maybe you'll just be at the bar drinking. You don't do your own frat a long time ago. You just did a drink. You'll see small boys, you'll drive by. The next thing, you'll you, you, you holler one name. This mate, or this, 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 this that. The next, blah, 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 they'll bring you down. So, confraternity has eaten deep into our society. And we must stop it. You understand? We must stop this confraternity. We must end it. Biafra Special Military Squad, we are out to end confraternity or to reduce it to the barest minimum. Because all those boys, all those boys, if they can unite together when the full and headsmen are child's play, 
Imagine the Vikings, the Blackers, the Iceland, the Debom, the Buccaneers, the, the, the Tutu, joining to, and, and the rest of them joining together to form a common front under BSMS. Under BSMS to fight against the full enhancement, just like just like I've been doing. Because we at BSMS right now, I have Vikings in, in, in BSMS, I have Icelandos in BSMS, I have Deban Boys in BSMS, I have Black Ass in BSMS, I have Tutu in BSMS. I have different kind of fraternities in B when they come, they exhibit their own fraternity. And I let them understand that as long as uh, Biafra Special Military Squad is concerned, we don't care about your fraternity allegiance. The moment you come here and take, because I know how the allegiance is, fraternity oath is not ROC oath. Some of, see, their oath is not ROC oath. I know how it's, no one, no one will tell me about confraternity. They, 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 there, there are no chief priests, there are no, there are no powerful uh, 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 spiritualists or whatsoever in their midst that activate a very potent oath. So when you come to BSMS, when you take that oath, it neutralizes the allegiance, the court oath you've taken. Your allegiance now is now to Biafra and to Biafra cause. That's why the oath you take in BSMS is that you will not betray Biafra. That's the oath. That is the essence of the oath you are taking. So I'm urging everybody, if you are an Icelando, the bomb, Vikings, I know why I'm repeating all these names so that you will know the people I am talking to. If any fraternity you are into, please drop your weapon please drop the aggression please stop the wars you must stop the wars the wars must come to an end there is no victor there is no vanquish no one won the war everyone is rugged because i've seen a situation whereby you will go to the fraternity a and kill a lot, uh, some of their strong men before you know it one small boy maybe that boy just blend the fraternity two weeks ago and he'll be so possessed the next thing you use, you will use one pack, collect Kalashin from police. You will you go see small boy like this, you go gather small boys like him, 20 years, 25 years, 22 years, 18 years. They will gather small boys like them, maybe six or seven of them. They will target a police officer. They will shoot the police officer and collect his gun. Before you know it, they will, they will rejoice that they don't get one Kalashin. Before you know it, they will get another Kalashin and then there will be menace in, this, in, in, the, in the university. They will go back and fight those other court group that killed their, uh, their senior men, as they put it. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Biafra Special Military Squad, under my leadership, our purpose for this program today is to put an end to this confraternity wars. That war must stop. Confraternity wars must stop. The war must stop. It must stop and it must stop now. Because if we do not stop the war now, we will all die. We will all die. I am going to give you, I'm going to give chance for you to also contribute. Uh, I don't want you to talk about the history of confraternity. Just tell me what and what principle you think I should apply or we should all apply to end this court war. Because I want all these men, I want all these men to be united under Biafra Special Military Squad so that we will forge ahead in life, so that we will face our common enemies, so that we will fight them to a logical conclusion. I can't imagine. Listen, let me tell you, the reason why they called for amnesty, I've said it before and I'm, I will say it again, in case you, you're just coming in, you're just tuning in now. The reason why Yeradua called for amnesty was when he saw that, that Ateke Tom and Subuma George, George have united to fight against the Nigerian government. What I'm telling you now, I am not saying what they told me. I am telling you what I saw in River State, what, 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 what I am part of those who made the history in this act of uh, uh, confraternity although as at that time i had this mentality of uh, why don't we fight uh, i had this mentality i was given them this mentality that we should revolt we should fight for our own country but as at that time it, it was not selling through they were not seeing it from that angle especially my good friend Soboma george he was not seeing it from that angle he was seeing it as being too big uh, how can we do it you know 
I do not blame him because at that time, even if we had done it at that time, I don't think we could have been successful. Thank God for Mazinam the Kano who has created in an enabling environment for us to excel now in this uh, issue of creating our own country and having freedom for our people, for our children and our children unborn. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. I'm also using this opportunity to reach out to all the heads in all the confraternities, in the universities, in the streets. Please let this war stop. Let this war stop. All hands must be on deck. We must face our common enemies who are the Fulani headsmen. I keep hammering this. Our enemies are not ourselves. Vikings is not your enemy. Black ass is not your enemy. Tutu no be your enemy. Burkina Faso no be your enemy. Uh, Buccaneers are not your enemies. Icelanders are not your enemies. Greenlanders are not your enemies. Deban boys are not your enemies. Your enemies are ISIS. Your enemies are the union of the Islamic court. The union of the Islamic courts. This union of Islamic courts, they involve, they, they comprise uh, Boko Haram, ISIS, Fulani Hetzman, uh, Hakika, and Izala. These are the union of the Fulani Hetzman. These are the union of the full uh, Islamic courts. These are our enemies and we must have to fight them and we must have to fight them decisively. We must have to deal with them decisively. We must have to show our ruggedity, our violence where they are. And not to show our ruggedity and our violence to our own brothers. No, the court war must stop. The confraternity war must stop. It must stop and it must stop now. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. I am going to take the first call. If you know what we are going to do or any idea you are going to give to Biafra Special Military Squad so that we will end this confraternity wars, please call me. I'm taking a call from uh, Chupu Anthony. Anthony, your number is not going. Let me check it again. No, it's still not going. Uh, please, if you want to call, if you want to participate in this, if you, want, if you know any idea, I've laid the foundation. Don't tell me about how fraternity began. We all know how I've given the, the, the little background on, on how it started. Uh, you understand? What I want now is how do we solve this problem? How do we get to the roots of this issue? How do we, how do we stop these, our brothers from killing themselves? Because every day, Every day there are fat wars. Listen, if you want to join confraternity, they'll tell you, ah, now we'll be the strongest, now we'll get this campus, now we'll do this, now we'll do that. No confraternity owns the campus, believe me. Except, except some few schools. In the actual sense, they don't really own it because when the war starts, people still die. When you own a, when you, when you own a school, it's when you, you, are, you are the alpha and omega there. No fraternity can speak. But in every school, you see challenges. You see challenges, you see people fighting each other. You understand? So no fraternity can, can, can come out openly and tell me that they, that they own the school. Because I have this. Today you are strong, tomorrow a small boy will just come up and then challenge you. And before you know it, he has killed some people and you kill back. And that is how it's going on for years. It has been going on that way. For years, my brother, people don't die. A lot of people don't die. Many people have died. Many people have been killed in these confraternity wars. A lot of people have died in these confraternity wars. And a lot more, as I'm talking to you now, a lot more have been marked to be killed. So fraternity may have said, okay, see this guy, Mike, you see, you know, Mike, people go say, you see this guy, uh, uh, Emeka, Emeka, guy almost blow, almost kill him. They'll be looking, uh, Mike will be looking for Emeka, Emeka will be looking for Mike. And at the end of the day, maybe Emeka will kill Mike, and then Mike, 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 brother and friends will not run away. After six months, they will not come back again, more bloodier than they were before. God bless Biafra, and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Uh, we have Henry Emedo. You know, Miss Henry, can you tell us where you're calling us from? Oh, hey, Biafra. God bless Biafra.
God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. You see, my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm calling you from Abu Dhabi. Actually, that is where I am. Morning. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, you are doing a very great job. A great job. I've been your follower from the beginning. Actually, when nobody was to believe that BSMS will finally come on board the way you are, you are now. Because I'm strong to see that your your forum uh, is growing very strong. I'm very mm. happy. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. In the issue you are saying, let's make it brief so that other people will have their space to say something. One mm. day. I'm very happy. And this thing you are calling is a cause that has been in my mind for a long time. Mm. I was born and brought up in Costa mm. You understand? Mm. Yes, I know. I know. So, I know what GTC mm. graduate, you understand? So it has come to a time why we the Bear France we have to unite ourselves and face this one cause, just for one cause. We stand for one cause. That is just one thing we need. Only one cause. And it is simple. If we can just die some selfishness in mind of so many people. Use your head, but it can never make you rich. So, if our brothers can understand what you are saying and come together, we can defeat these people. We we defeat them any time, any day. We will do it. All we need is our unity. We will do it. You understand? So, yes. I know I'm Nanaija, and then he will not the simple email. Oh, you need the negotiation. Amen. Negotiation. Each each movement one. Ihan Akbo is a cushional, one need their way. Yes. So all these G Bambo, Honel Tesh is Yoji, Kesh Yoji, Koji Ga one or two places. If now they make a call, not all some people. Now you will get one year with the Yana. Oji run is a cushional because in your sorrow, man, Nanja Mini Bundina in the Biafra today from the zoo country. I will not buy their power. Oh, Buhari, mm. Nenya Hoda. Jubilee, mm. Nenya Hoda. Say, how do you understand? Yes. Mm. Jubilee, say, how stop? They cannot cross our land. You understand? So, if the executioners of this movement, Genoda, see their boys, stop, and let's do this thing in one voice, then everything are gala. Because I'm on that now. When the movement was hot, one the executioner, no other. Giga across other executioners. Right? I tell you, fuck up. I'm not saying man, I go. You know what I mean? So, in here, the important now this call in a minute, how we can reach all the executioners of this movement, be it anyone. I tell me one anything. Going out black in yesterday, but to buy a key hundi wo hundi shi movement with this head, they will take hand in it together. Kowala in here, I mean. This is why all the new boys need her information. So let me hear your guys now. How can we hear? Oh, but we can hear that you're not going. Every time we're in this new country, a game. Ah yes, give us. Can you not bother your brother for nothing? Nothing. 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 So it is better our brothers forget the selfish interest and come back and embrace this call for once and for all. We embrace this thing, no matter what it takes. We can hit these people, no matter. We can hit them whenever, whenever, unless we have not called this call. Once we call this call and stand, one day they will never de defeat us. Biafra will stand. Biafra. All the little money to contribute for now. I, I am you. still listening and I'm still following one day. Okay. All here, Biafra. And God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Thank you, my brother. God bless Biafra and God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, that was a very beautiful condition. Uh, he's suggesting the whatever they call it, to reach everyone so that, uh, to reach all the leaders so that we can now know how to end this uh, issue. Uh, so I'm also inviting other people to call and give us idea on what to do. Please, I want those, especially those who call, so that they can give us idea uh, on what to do, how to do it.
like he suggested, we should meet all the leadership, all their leaders, the ones in the universities, the ones who are not in the university. We should meet their leadership. We should meet their number ones and then speak to them. You understand? And speak to them. I'm happy with what he said. I think that suggestion, I've noted it down. I'm going to work on it uh, because I want these confraternity wars to come to an end. It must come to an end. The, we cannot be using, we cannot be killing ourselves for no reason. Listen, some of, some of the reasons why they fight these wars, some of them are very, very funny. You know, listen, uh, in most cases, very, very funny. Now, maybe I'm a member of court A and a member of court B is passing. As he's passing, I will not say, ah, why does this guy, they pass here, sir? In the mud. No, no, so that we get the town. Hey, come here. And the guy, In the process, they might wound him or kill him. He will maybe he will not run away. If he's dead, his members will come and take his corpse, and then the war starts. Very stupid reason. Very stupid reason. Just saying they pass, and you are saying why should he pass? Sometimes it's in the club. You, when they are dancing, you are dancing with this girl, and the another court boy will come and want to dance with the girl too. You push him, you push you. They will bust bottle for your head. You will bust bottle for your own head, and that's all. The, the fraternity, the, the war will start. And all this war, when it starts now, if they begin count the number of casualties, you could count ten people don't die here, ten don't die here, or ten don't die here, five die here. You see, people will just be dying. You see, people leaving their homes and running away and going to the villages. You understand? Because that's the only way they can, the place they can go and be safe. So this confraternity wars has been a menace to the society. It has destroyed Biafra land. It has. I don't want to go into my private life, but I know, I know how I survive all those things. You understand? And I know how many of my friends that are dead. I know how many of my friends will not die. I know how many guys will not die. Even those who are not my friends, where we say, if I look at them now, they are shining stars. They are stars. Where we say, by now. Uh, even if they don't join BSMS, they will condemn these people and the headsmen. They'll be very angry with them. But they are all dead. So I'm going to invite another caller to speak to us. I'm going to invite my brother, Professor. Professor, I'm adding you. Uh, my brother from another mother. Professor from uh, our brothers in Riverine, the, the Riverine Beer France. I'm adding you. I hope it's we click. It's still adding. It's not connecting yet. I hope it will click. Uh, because I really want you to speak. I hope it will click. Uh, but before then, uh, please, you can also type in uh, your ideas or you can inbox me your ideas on how you think the approach you think you can use to stop this confraternity wars. Because uh, if we stop these wars and unite ourselves together, we will be able to defeat our common enemy. Remember, the essence of all this is not, it's not to come and show, hey, I'll be this court group, or you know, we want to be united so that we can face our common enemy. We must face our common enemy. We must defeat our common enemy. Professor, it's not clicking. Let me try it again. Professor Idudu Adafi, that I'm trying to ask your, your, your suggestion on how we can stop this confraternity wars because this war must stop. Confraternity war must stop. It has to stop. It has to stop because if it, it, is, it is killing our society. It is destroying our society. It is making, it is, it is, it is taking our, 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 our best 11. Our first 11 are dying. You understand? Our first 11 are dying. And it's not acceptable. It's totally unacceptable. God bless Biafra. Uh, uh, professor, it's not clicking. So let me try Ifani Val Mba. Ifani Val Mba, I'm adding you now. Ifani, I'm adding you. I just hope it clicks. I just hope it clicks. So that we can talk. Uh, it's not clicking. I don't know. 
the Zoom network is just messing the whole thing up. So I'm adding you, uh, Nkem, from you too. I just hope this Zoom network will allow us to talk. Uh, like I said before, you can also type what you want to say. You can also type it here. You can inbox me, especially inbox me, inboxing me, because uh, inbox inbox will make it will, will be easier for me to read. Uh, you can inbox me on idea on how to end this confraternity wars because we must end it, or else we will all perish. We will all perish. We must end it. Okay, uh, it's not. It's not clicking. Uh, professor, you said you sent it again. I have seen it. Let me add you this time around. It's not responding. It's saying no answer. Uh, I'm asking, I'm adding, no, it's not clicking to. All the people that I'm approving, it's not clicking. It should just be. It's not connecting. It's not connecting up to now. Um, since it's not connecting, please type, 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 and then I will read and then I will respond. As we wait for any one of them to connect. Uh, only because your 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 comment is facing me now. He said this our brother says the right thing to do. His suggestion is very good because I can understand why our, I can't understand why our brothers should be killing themselves when when if you were like when I when I was in a worry. This is exactly what was going on. Uh, exactly what was was going on on then. The Fraternities that not, you know, that in, you, you're typing. I mean, it, now it is still going on in Oweri. My brother, it is still going on in Oweri. The, the court war has not ended. So I'm talking to you now. The, the fight is still going on. It's, it's, it's a war without end. This endless, it's an endless war. The war is still going on, and it is now, it is now un, totally unacceptable. It is not acceptable again. The war is no longer acceptable. It, I condemn it in totality and I ask, I call for ceasefire among all confraternities in, in, in Biafra land. Ceasefire. Because one danger about this confraternity wars is that when they start in Enugu, before you know it, it's, it will not start their own. Before you know it, Putako don't start. Before you know it, Kalaba don't start. That's how it is. That is how it is. Some of the war itself, it's not even that school that began the war. Maybe the war began at, it began at the University of Calabar. Then the ones, you know, where they will say, ah, oh boy, oh boy, they're going to look the other frat way, them they fight with for Calabar. They're going to look them one eye. Before you know it, one boy will, will shoot. The war don't enter over there. From over there, any Google say, oh boy, what are they boy now? Oh boy, Vikings and Blackers and they fight for over there. Blah, 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 blah. The war will start there too. Before you know it, they boy state. Before you know it, you don't from there, enter the first state. For the first state, you don't enter the state. Now, so the war will just they go on everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere is on fire. The South, Biafra land is on fire. Unnecessary war, unnecessary killing. There's nothing that they're dragging. They don't do they drag woman, they don't drag man, they don't drag land, they don't drag oil. Nothing that they drag. They are, you just, just say who, who strong pass. Oh boy, go fuck them up. Oh boy, go buy them all. You cannot kill all of them. I've seen a situation whereby a frat, fraternity A, they enter fraternity B, knock, knock them, go, go. All of them, all the, every member of fraternity B run. After six months, they still came back again. And that time, the fraternity A don't relax. They just, some of them, they for bad, they drink. All of a sudden, you can't go drive via stop. Somebody will come out with AK-47 and open fire. I've seen many, many people die. I've seen many things happen. Uh, if uh, my sister, my blood, you said uh, we must create awareness by, by starting to talk about, uh, about it in every platform. Yes, in every platform, uh, I've laid the foundation. In every platform, as you are saying, you can also put hashtag stop call to wars or hashtag. Uh, I will create the hashtag. I, I don't know. I'll create the hashtag. So I will use that hashtag uh, in Facebook, in Twitter, especially in Facebook, because uh, we have our people are more in Facebook than uh, Twitter. 
Uh, yes, because Facebook is more popular in Biafra land than Twitter. Uh, professor said, we need sponsorship. We need great preachers that can convince any type of courtes. If I have my way, my brother, it will be Operation Kill Police, Kill Soldier. <laughs> I understand you. I understand what you mean by that. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. By the time we create Biafra, I know, I, I know what to do to end confraternities in the universities. I used to have a friend. He's very, very sound. I mean, I mean that guy, uh, that first class material. But he came out with third class. No, no, not. He came out with pass. Just because of flat walls. Because when the war starts, you can't even go to school now. Nah. How you want to go to school? Some of them say they get carryovers. Some of them, they get carryovers. Many of them, they get carryover. But this guy, normally, if you're you saying they go to normal school, he for graduate with first class. But he cannot graduate with first class. Rallies everywhere for them. Court East in Biafra land must stop. If yes, we, we, I think we should go to another level of doing these rallies. Doing these rallies, even if it's, it's one rally or two. You know, but uh, I am going to I am I'm going to work on creating a forum for us to campaign or rally against confraternities in universities because we can stop it. We this generation, my own generation, we can stop it. We've done it, we've seen it, we've seen it. Nobody not anybody could tell me about fraternity now. What do they want to tell me? I began fraternity in nineteen ninety seven. I began university, I mean, I mean university fraternity in 1997. Most of you, most of the people watching me now, if it's either you are in secondary school or something like that, in 1997. So what do you person want to tell me about confraternity again? I've seen it all. I've graduated from university confraternity to militancy. Where you finish? You understand? So I've seen it all. So I know it can stop. I know that there's no, that there's no gain in it. No gain, not you. Even your frat member self, I also a threat to you. You understand? Because there's this envy and jealousy because there's no strong oath binding everybody. That's also a threat to you. I've seen most cases whereby frat, frat men will fight. After fighting, it is also their members who will go and take police and then they fight. Begin call names. There's no loyalty. There's no loyalty in this fraternity. So that's why we must fight to stop it. I'm adding you, Alex. Uh, Alex is not clicking. Sorry. Uh, back again, Professor. I'm adding you. He's still not clicking, Professor. I don't know. I don't know the, what the problem is. Kem, let me try you again, because I need people to start talking. We must talk. We understand. We must talk. We must dialogue first. Then uh, after, if we, after dialoguing, we will now use the plan B. So I have a plan B, which I'm not going to disclose here now. But for now, the plan A is talk and talk and talk and talk. Reach as many people as we can reach. Make them understand that if we don't unite together and fight our common enemies, we will all die. That one, now for sure. If we don't unite and fight our common enemy, we will all die. The Fulani headsmen, the union of the Islamic courts will kill us and destroy all of us. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Uh, let me try another person. Uh, PJ Jumbo, let me try you. I just pray and hope it clicks. If it clicks, I'll be very, very happy because I need people to talk. I need people who have, who have, who, who we are formerly courtists, who we are formerly court members to come and speak out, uh, speak out. Speak, talk. You understand? Don't, don't just, many of them that I know are now in churches, born again. It doesn't end there. If you are born again, you are saved, you, you don't, you're no longer doing fraternity. What of your, your court members in the school? It must have to, we must have to reach out. We must have to condemn it in totality. We must have to come out strong and condemn it so that people will learn. So that understand because courtism is in a way our brilliant, bright generations. God is wiping away our brilliant and bright generation, and it is totally unacceptable. It is totally unacceptable. God bless Biafra.
I just pray I can connect with someone else. Uh, all, all I've been trying to add is not clicking, and I'm not happy about it. I wish people will come out and speak because this is a very big minute. This is a very big minute. Kofra would pay. BSMS will pay the army. It's good to channel the muscle in joining BSMS, where one can benefit and carry on weapon with uh, carry on weapon uh, legitimately. Yes, BSMS. We are we are going to pay our soldiers. We are not. We are going to we are going to pay more than Nigerian army. We are going to pay our soldiers more than Nigerian army. We are going to. Things no, you are coming here to fight for your land. You are coming here to fight for your father. You are coming here to fight for your mother. You are coming here to fight for yourself, for your sisters and your brothers, for your, for your children born. Please, I've warned that if I'm on live, nobody should call me. How can you be on call me on Facebook when you know I am on live? I am I am live. I'm live on Facebook. Please do not call me again. I am not going to tolerate, I am not going to tolerate this again, please. When you come to... God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Um, let me try team Obi. I would love to talk to you, to really speak to you. I just pray and hope it connects. Uh, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar Defo, you, you said, I believe it's very easy because our people are wiser now. Yes, yes, our people are wiser now. I, I, I also I concur with what you said. Yes, uh, people are more wiser now. Tom, it is still clicking. It's not. Ah, Zoom network and their problem. I just pray. I just wish. Uh, it's well, at least one will click, but if it doesn't click, uh, we'll continue. It's not clicking, it's not clicking. Let me try other numbers, let me try other people. Uh, Ikena, Ikena, I'm adding you now. I just pray it will click. Uh, Anthony Daniel, okay, let me tr see if I can be adding. God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. God, God bless Biafra. Yes. Uh, you see? Um, uh, please, who I is am, Colin? Who are we speaking to? Colin from Georgia, Atlanta. Um, I've heard okay. all you have said, and uh, I want to talk to our people, especially the able-bodied men that are in the confraternity, in the schools, and even outside the schools, because a lot of people are mm. in confraternity, yes. even outside the school. A lot of people has finished in the school, yes. still, they are still enjoying it outside the school. Kudos mm. for you. But one thing mm. is sure, we cannot leave our enemies, we cannot leave our enemies to outsmart us. We cannot do that. Mm. We can never leave our enemies to outsmart us. We should channel the energy we are using against mm. ourselves mm. to deal with them. Mm. One thing I know is this, if we can come together 
under one umbrella, Biafra Special Military Squad. We will mm. conquer these people within a day, mm. within a twinkling so. of an eye. So, yes. my fellow brethren, my fellow brothers, my fellow Biafrans, please, please, let us move our uh, small, small attackers, all those things. It cannot make us rich. It cannot make us to get freedom. You are fighting, you are still running away from the police. Don't you know that your energy can be converted to become a military, a military even, after the, even after the fight? Even when we get Biafra. If you want to join the soldiers, we join the soldiers. If you don't want to join the soldiers, you continue with your normal life. But one thing I know yes. is that whenever we come together to fight this common cause, we are all going to be on umbrella, irrespective of where you are coming from irrespective of the level you think you've been operating in your flat. All those things, for now, is a choice play. Because, yes. just like General, just like Tukuma said it, <laughs> we don't do that. Our brothers, our sisters, our villagers, our fellow Biafrans are in high risk. Let mm. us channel all That's that true. our energy let us be angry with the Fulanese. Let us, mm. you know, you know. sometimes when I see this cut thing or frat thing, I, I, I don't know what to say because there is no big deal. Just maybe, uh, you know, you chase my girl, I chase your girl, something like that, or mm. we, we are drinking in a bar, nothing, just, to, mm. just for no reason. Men will mm. start to kill each other. Even go to the extent mm. of going to their families in the, mm. in, in, at home to kill them. So what I'm saying in essence, my brothers and their sisters, let us convert it into doing something better for us. And if we do that, if all the fat in Southeast, if all the flat fat in the Biafra land, we come together. I am telling you, the police, the army, to bring, they cannot stop us. Because they don't know yes. what to do. And you see yes. this part of a thing, mm. it goes like kerosene. You know kerosene, if kerosene enters a food, you must know that there is kerosene in that food. So that is how flat mm. goes. So it can channel all our energy to, to do this. You will see at the end of the day, we will have the victory. So, brothers and sisters, I am not, I am not, listen, I am not saying only the boys or only the men. We have women in the flat. They can still help us. Yes. They can mm. still do the work of seduction to the, to the military. They, they still have a lot of roles mm. they play. Mm. And they can still handle iron. They can still handle iron. So, what I'm saying mm. is, let us channel this our strength into something meaningful. Forget where you are coming from, brothers. This is a cause we must fight. If we don't fight it at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we will have ourselves to blame. So let us do it now. And they call me because I heard um, one of my brother saying that um, we should... Um, call all the executioners. Yes. If it's not the most that the executioners are listening to this. The executioners, the members, if the members are listening to it, take it to the executioner. Take the word to the executioner. Take it to your leaders. Take it to your headmen. If you do that, let us come together. To get my brother Chukuma is not a big deal. If you boss him, he will give you a clue how to get him. You come, do yes. what you're supposed to yes. come. You come, just as you're watching him on Facebook, just you, uh, you are seeing him, it's a question of inboxing him. If you inbox him, he will give you a clue on how to meet him. Then, if you do that, we will be sure. Okay, take a look at what is happening in, our, in the zoo. Take a look at how we are being sidelined in the political levels. Take a, a look at, 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 at how the force men are dealing with us decisively.
and they are dealing with us and we are busy dealing with our own selves, calling ourselves frat members. I want to tell you, every frat man that is listening to me, I want to tell you, cultism or confraternity is not in the head. You have to carry it in the shoulder. If it's too heavy for you, you leave it and it fall off. You leave it and it falls off. But for this cause, everybody must come together. Everybody must come together. If you die for this cause, you die for a good cause. But I pray by the power of Chukwokikabiyama, nobody is going to die. If we come together to, if we come together to, 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 to cunningly organize ourselves, how to cunningly deal with this uh, Mufurani. What do they, what, do, what does Fulani have, have upstairs? They got nothing. nothing. They are just nothing. Boots. What do they know? Mm. They don't do anything. With your mm. calculation, with your calculation, as a Biafran man, with your calculation, one man, one Biafran man with his good calculation can defeat 100 Fulanis. What happened mm. during the war? During That's the war, they thought that they were going to kill us within two weeks. Now it yes. took them up to three years or less than three years. Still no victory, no vanquish. Then what are we mm. waiting for? Let us do this. We know that when we start doing it, the world will be there watching. And when it starts, the world, the UN, we know what to do. My brothers, in, in my language it says, the ears that mm. we, we hear, mm. It's not gonna mm. be as Bobby big B. as that of elephant or as big as that mm. of the meat of a cocoyam. So yeah, brothers yes. and sisters, mm. let us be warned. Let us be wise. Let us be wise like a serpent. And let us cunningly deal with these people. If we deal with them in the history of the whole world, the world we know that there are Biafras in, in the zoo. And there are Israelis in the zoo. But by then, Biafra must have emerged. And I pray, Mechukwo Biama, the creator of heaven and the earth, who by his power created all things, who promised the children of Israelites protection and security. Mechukwo Biama, in his infinite mercy and in his infinite majesty, Bless each and every one of us in all our endeavors and make our common cause, which is fighting against our enemies. Just like it was in the days of the Abrahams when Lot was decisively dealt with by the uncircumcised people, Abraham took up arms and they dealt with them. Even in the days of the David, yes. Jephthah, a lot of people more than 20 men in the Bible, they fought by the power of Almighty Tukokika Biyama. They delivered the children of Israelites. And so it will be in the land of the Biafra against the Zoological Republic. Sitena for Tukokika Biyama. Ise. 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 Thank you, brothers. Ise. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. I love your contribution. God bless you. Uh, like you said, bye bye. Like, like you okay, said, uh, yeah, you said uh, there are female fraternities. I I was just concentrating on the male ones, but let me just give you a hint. You have uh, you have have the white angels. It's a female fraternity. You have the Amazons. It's a female fraternity. You have the Vikings. It's a female fraternity. There are so many female fraternities. You can also come and help us in this struggle. You can also uh, leave all those things, all those work when I do for school, all those careless things when I do for school, and then join Biafra Special Military Squad. Use that your knowledge, that your ruggedity, that your that your mind to serve Biafra, so that Biafra will bless you and uh, bless your children, born and unborn. God bless Biafra. It's getting dark here. Uh, this is the far I can go because uh, you know I'm very black. You can barely see me now. I'm not as fair as our supreme leader. Who, if he's here now, you still be seeing him. 
very soon I will the the the, the, the weather and me will not become the same. <laughs> Uh, I have the very black type. God bless Biafra. Soon you'll not be seeing me again. It's only my teeth you'll be seeing. Uh, so it's time to go. Now before I go, he said choose first. Uh, Uche Chuku, he said choose first. Uh, first of all, I must salute your bravery and great idea one day. But very importantly, I hope you have a very strong and powerful strategy on how to control and regulate these court members. These court uh, this called men you are planning on bringing together so those arms don't fall into wrong hands and they end up turning Biafra land into a dam of criminals courtists and robbers. instead of liberating Biafra they have to be very uh, uh, courtists and robbers instead of liberating Biafra okay D there has to be a very powerful strategy and plan one day. Yes, I have a plan, I have a strategy on how to handle this. First of all, Biafra Special Military Squad will have an oath, and that oath will oath ROC. It's a deity oath that if you must not betray Biafra Special Military Squad. Once you try it, you the penalty is death, a mysterious death. Those who come to take the oath, they know what they see, they know what they do. So it is now them go even tell you, say, guy, we'll look at Triam. Uh, because I know that the Vikings have come here, they've taken their oath. The Blackers have come here, they've taken their oath. 2-2. Two, two. So, uh, Iceland, they bomb. All of them don't take their oath, finish. So, uh, they know what, they know the oath they took. So, the issue of uh, betraying each other or trying to kill each other will not, will not arise. You understand? Because of the, of the oath. That is the essence of that oath. That is the essence of that oath. Then after the oath, we will also be listen them. We will be bringing them together. We will, when we go for our 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 campaign, we will all unite together, and uh, the bond will increase. You understand? And if you have more ideas on on how we can make the bond more more stronger, you can also inbox me and tell me. Uh, I have to go because. Uh, uh, but before I go, let me approve uh, a minute can can change. You're a very good friend. Uh, you, I just hope and pray it clicks. I just hope and pray it clicks. It's not clicking. It's not clicking. It's not clicking. Let me look for someone else. Uh, let me approve uh, Walata Tika. Uh, a very good friend of mine. We are, we are, I've known you since uh, the night, since 1998. God bless Biafra. God bless Biafra. Biafra. God bless Biafra. Uh, uh, yes, amen. He said, this topic got me. Uh, you know, we used to all be generous in this court movement. Yes. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> But at the time, we have to call it spade a spade. A lot of our brothers have died carelessly. Yeah. I'm calling you from, this is Tika Walata. I'm calling you from New York City, United States. You know already. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so it has been a very big... Hey, for those who don't know, who don't know. We are childhood friends. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We are we childhood, childhood friends. We, we, we graduated from the same school. From the same school, the same so, class. So, so, uh, everything. And, and, and we both together. together. We you know? <laughs> Those days. Those days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, this topic, I say, wow. This has been the dream. Our dream then. Something to put up out there. Coming wiser and wiser every day. You know, we have a lot of challenges ahead of us. We have to deal with the Fulanese, the zoo, and all that. But another mm. thing that has been <clears throat> eating us, that has been a problem to us, the Biafran land, is this this case of the, this case of courtism. We have been there, we have been out there, you know. But our, most of our younger ones, they are suffering it right now. You know, 
some of them it might be our mistake too uh, i will i will take that that's why I, I can blame myself for that too you know maybe people that looked upon us they want to be like us they join the whole thing they don't know the ugly part of it but at the end of the day a lot of us have died out of nothing like you just said we're not dragging nothing we're not dragging money we're not dragging land we're not dragging anything my advice to everybody in Biafra land, wherever you are in the world, reach out to the younger generation. Reach out to some of um, our senior ones too that, they, that have never understood that uh, it's not, cultism is not the way forward. If there's any way we can protest, rally, do whatever we can do to restore peace in Biafra land, we are all brothers. Bukania, Vikings, Tutu, Eye, KK, Black Bra, Amazon, White Angel, Viking, we are all one. It's all, all <coughs> the necessary. This is the devil of our time that came into us. When all these costs, all, all these activities started back in the 80s, it wasn't like this. People that started all this, then they started it because of. Um, maybe fun or social club or whatever, you know, but as time goes on, it turns, it, it, it started becoming a nightmare. It started becoming horrible. People have died. You got just from school, you're home with your family. You can't, you're not still comfortable. You can't live in your town with your family. You're not still comfortable. You can't go out with your family and your wife. You can die at any moment. Your life is in the hands of anybody, you know. So it has been a big it's devil in Biafra land. It needs to be abolished. Please, my brothers. Since the government cannot help us, the zoo cannot help us. Nothing, the, the zoo wants us all to die. The zoo wants us to die. They like it going on in Biafra land. This has been the only thing that has been dividing us. My brothers watching me today, most of you, most of you, some of you might know me. Some most will know me too. I grew up in over the Port Harcourt. We've been in all the states. This same course, this is my first thing. You know, but if I can talk to you like this, my brother, and I'm not just, I'm not just the only one. There are a lot of us then, generals. They are all born again now. The man talking to you, General Tukuma. I wish some of you know him back in the days. He's a general in this old uh, the business, in this office or whatever. Yeah, sir. But I can't believe he's on air saying, saying something against it. This is the right way to go. The way, the, the, the way forward for Jasper. Please, brothers and sisters, let us fight this war. Let us stop courtesy. Say no to courtesy. It don't help. It don't help. Most of us in our brought today, courtesy brought us down here. Our brothers, our men have been killed. We have to leave the community. We have to leave. You know, we can't help it. We have to go. Kuma, continue with what you are doing, general, whatever, what you are doing, the struggle about the Afra will come to a pass, will finally deliver. And you shall be remembered, the history will remember you, we will remember you. Thank you so much, brother. God bless the Afra. People like, people like you, you that we need, need to, to stop this, this to stop all, all this meanness in in I, am I am not using this place to be uh, uh, to create a forum for, for people, people to know each other. Each other. Each other. Well, I, I want us to fight against, against, against this, this meanness. meanness. I want us to, to, to unite. If you must, if you must, if you must, if you must, Turn it to where you be. Just know, just know it. That if that we don't, if we get, don't Biafra, get Biafra, we are all gone. Are all gone. Just know it. Just know it. That, that uh, 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 if we don't, if we don't unite, unite we, will be destroyed we will be destroyed by this by union, this union of Islamic cause. cause. It's either, it's we, either unite, we unite or we all, or we all die. die. And also, and also remember that the slogan, the slogan is Biafra or death to our enemies. enemies. Exactly. God bless God you. Bless you.
Bless you, brother. Uh, I'm, I am, I am going, I am to, going close to close now. You are close. If you close the program, exactly. I'm glad because, because people can't see me. I'm glad to close it. They only, they see, only my see my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. you. Yes, sir. God bless you. God bless you, Afra. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, sir. Um, thank you and thank you all. I can't take more calls. We'll, we'll continue next time. I know nobody can see me again. You're all seeing a teeth. God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Hope to see you when next I announce that I'm going to be on, on, on air. God bless you all. You say, God bless Mazenam de Kano. God bless Uchime 4. God bless the DOS. God bless uh, uh, FA and uh, Professor. God bless all everyone who has been listening to me. God bless all of you. God bless everybody. Those I can call their names. Those I cannot call their names. Uh, 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 Sin, uh, Yabuchi, uh, David. God bless everyone. I love you all. God bless you. Prince, God bless you. God bless everyone. God bless you all. He say, he say, he say, I will go now. Bye-bye. Uh, God bless you. Remember, if you've not donated for this struggle, Biafra Special Military Squad, please inbox me and make your pledge and make your donation. Please inbox me. And if you're interested in joining our military, please inbox me so you can come and take your oath. God bless us all. Okay, Bye-bye.